so welcome back in this session we will learn about two different types of boolean expression namely sum of products and product of sum if you are not sure about what is boolean expression is you might want to go back to the previous lesson about boolean expression boolean expression has two forms that is sum of product form and product of sum form why do we need this standard form to express boolean equation it is basically for easy evaluation simplification and implementation depends on the nature of our digital system as explained in the previous lesson, term with only n operation like this and with no or operation involved is called product term. In opposite, term with only or operation like this one with no and operation involved is called sum term. Consider this Boolean expression Q. In this expression, there are basically four product terms. One, two, three, and four terms. Then, all the terms are summed or added together. Thus, this form of Boolean expression is known as sum of products. Now consider this Boolean expression Z. In these expressions, there are four sum terms. One, two terms, three terms and four terms then it is multiplied or ended together thus this form of boolean expression is known as product of sum or pos let's see how we can construct a standard sum of product or we also call it mean term sorry i forgot to mention earlier uh, from a truth table so we know that from the truth table we have a three input and one output which means this truth table will count from 0 to 7 since a 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8 and this is the binary representation of the input combination. Since this uh, sum of product, also known as mean term, so we can also represent each of the term using a small m symbol. So this one is a uh, m0 for 0, m1 for 1, until the end, which is uh, m7. So to construct a Boolean expression for sum of product we need to only focus on the high outputs like here one two three and four high outputs in this truth table for each of the high output like this we have to write the product term of it so the first term here is a complement and B and C complement and the rest is will become like this second term A B complement and C complement until the last term then we have to sum all these term together to have a standard sum of product expression 
SOP. So the sum of product expression will become like this. So F is the function of ABC and this is the sum of product expression. We can also actually represent this expression using mean term format based on this M symbol here that we created earlier. So similarly, we also focus on the term with the high output. So what we get is actually, we have a function F, a function of input A, B, C, with the mean term M2, M4, M5, M7, which has the high outputs. Okay. So we can actually represent this uh, expression of mean term using the summation symbol like here. So this means uh, the sum of mean terms number two here two four five and seven four five and so this is how uh, we create or construct a standard sum of product uh, from a truth table so that we have a sum of product expression standard or we have in in the uh, context of mean terms uh, format. Just now we learn how to construct sum of product term from truth table. And now we will learn how to construct a standard standard SOP or sum of product form from Boolean expression. Let's say we have this logic equation Q. So how to convert this equation into a standard sum of product form or as a mean term as we did for the truth table. The first step is to look at the equation here and to determine the number of inputs. So based on this equation, we know that this equation has three input variable, which is A, B, and C. And this one is an incomplete term, so only have B, C, but still we know that in total, it has three input variables. Then, the next step is to find the incomplete term. So I mean this by incomplete term is uh, something that we have here. It only has two input variable instead of three like this one. So we have two incomplete term here. This is another one. So what we need to do is we need to reconstruct these two terms so that it also will contain all the, the three input variables. So how to do that? If you still remember in our previous lesson, we have a Boolean rules that uh, as identity law, which say uh, any variable or with its inverse or complement will become one. So, for the incomplete term, we will add that missing variable to this term. So, for this BC, actually A is missing. So, we will add A or A bar. And this won't change the original equation because A or A bar is equal to 1. And if we take the N with the BC, it still become the original BC. And then, similarly for this part, the missing input variable is B. So we take the end 
b or b bar and with the a bar c the next is we use distributive law to expand this uh, logic equation so that from this equation it become like this a and b c and this one is a bar multiplied by b and c is a bar b c and similarly for this and next when we look at this one actually we realize that we have two similar terms so we can actually strike out the similar terms and just leave one of them and this is also here we just strike out this one so we have these three complete terms which is a b c a bar b c a bar or a complement b complement c so this is our standard standard sum of product forms because all the terms represent by all available input variables And next, finally, we can also represent this sum of product firm form in the form of mean terms expression. So based on this one, how do we know this uh, M1, M3 and M7? So if you look at from here, so A, B, C is actually all is high. 1, 1, 1. So if you take the binary, it's actually seven second term here a complement zero b c so this is equal to three and this one a complement b complement and c is equal to one so that's why we have uh, the mean term expression as m1 or m3 or m7 and we can also write it in the form of the summation which is uh, uh, q is equal to sum of product mean term 1 mean term 3 and mean term 7 so i hope you understand this so that's it for uh, this uh, lesson so we shall continue with product of some expression in the next lesson Thank you very much.